The next stop is on the radar radio. Stand clear of the closing doors, please. Yeah. Yes, sir, baby, on the radar radio. Yo, special guest in the building. Sule in the building, my guy. Big BSF. What's uh, up, my big boy? Big BSF, man. Glad to be here, Gabe. I appreciate you, man. Sule. So has your name always been said Sule? Yes. Okay. Actually, that's my government name. For real? That's my government name. It's yeah. Sule. Okay, mm-hmm. word. Because yeah. like we were talking when I was talking with the boys, I was like, bro, there's no way it's Sule, bro. I'm like, you gotta say like a little extra with a little extra like spice on it, like Sule. <laughs> nah, I've been going through that literally since like <laughs> elementary school, like all throughout school. Like teachers, you call me Soul, Sully, or whatever. They be like, "Oh, Sule, oh, it's not that difficult to pronounce." I was like, "I've been going through that shit." Bro. But let me ask you, like, there's no accent over the E. It is. It actually oh. is. Yeah, it actually is. Oh, there is an yeah, accent over the E. But okay. on social media, but you know, social media, media wise, yeah, yeah, yeah. it's hard to incorporate the accent mark, like, and at names and shit like that. So is the accent? Good. I had like the streaming page up. Okay, there's no accent on the streaming page. Yeah, no, that no, no, no. see that explains why people keep messing it up, mm. man. <laughs> well, look, I'm happy to have you here today. Uh... Congrats on everything. You know Thank what I'm saying? I appreciate you. Uh, we got a project coming up we're going to talk about. But first of all, so you're from Jersey originally. Yes. I'm from Englewood, New Jersey. Englewood. Bergen, Bergen County, man. Bergen County. So tell me, so what's the origin story of Sule, man? Like, how does this all begin for you? Um, shit, man. I've been, you know, I've been at the music. I've been at the music thing for about, like, rapping really since, like, I was a teenager. I was always the kid in, like, middle school and high school that was always going around rapping. And, like, once I kind of, like, got... 18, 19, that's when I really started, like, taking it serious. So music has been my life, personally. Anybody that knows me personally, I've been doing this shit for a very, very, very long time. But right. once I got to a certain age, it's like, all right, it's time to kick up with it. Mm. Well, so, what do you mean by kick up with it? Like, um, take it more serious. Before, I was just doing it, like, kind of, you know, just out of enjoyment. And then I really noticed that I could really, really, really break through with a a, a career with it. So, you mm. know, it was time to really start, like, polishing up the brand, like, really getting kind of, like... More tactical with songwriting, right. like and just uh, social media stuff. Everything that's outside that that comes with it, like behind the scenes. Right. Music. You speak about getting more tactical with songwriting. Like break that down for me. Like what do you mean by that? Do you mean it's like the way that you structure your songs, or just you felt like your bars weren't up to par? Like what do you? Oh no, the bar. Mean? The bars was always up to par. It was just like it would just be straight long verses. Mm-hmm. And when I really started going into like songwriting, it would. Like, it's about making hooks and not just kind of, like, talking fly shit all the time, but actually doing conceptual songs, like, concepts, and you really got to, you know, you really got to take it to different avenues with it instead of right. just, you know, rapping about the same thing all the time. Mm-hmm. I like, like, I'm uh, like I'm a real conceptual rapper, like, doing, like, the storytelling shit, like how Nas and Big L used to do it yeah. back in the day, so I'm, like... Take taking that road, right? Like having more to your record than just kind of like Absolutely. what everybody like what everybody wants. I feel like that's good that you kind of already got ahead of that too, and like already we're thinking about that because I feel like nowadays like the art of like songwriting and having concepts behind your music has become like so uh, like watered down and lost. Like a lot of people still do it. Don't get don't get me twisted, but like in the mainstream, like a lot of people aren't really thinking about that unless you're like the Tyler the Creators or like the Doja Cats and like those type oh, those, those level of artists, the Bennies, of course. Like you think about all these artists who actually have like concepts within their music and you're like, oh that's what real music sounds like and that's why, you know, they're at the level that they're at too. Absolutely. And those are the people that um like that I grew up listening to like as far as like of our generation or whatever, like I listen to like the Tyler the Creators, the Benny the Butchers, the the J. Coles and shit like yeah, that yeah. because I come from the essence of that. So it's like uh, it, it can't just be of course you got your moments where you just wanna, you know, just talk like just talk your shit on a beat. But For after sure. a while it can't be that repeatedly. You gotta really really tap into the artistry and try something new. Right. So, like, with me, like, you know, talking about listening to Benny coming up and then, like, also now being on BSF, how does, like, how does the relationship with you and Benny first begin? Like, how do we get to this point? Okay, so me and Benny, actually, we met in 2017. We met in 2017, mm-hmm. like, a little bit before he dropped Tana Talk 3. So this is before, like, he was signed and everything. Mm-hmm. Um, he actually came across a freestyle that I made on on Instagram. And he DM'd me. He was like, yo, bro, your shit is fire. Where you from? I said, I'm from Jersey. He was like, I'm going to be in Jersey in a couple of days. And he was like, uh, he was like, just send me your address. And then you know, whenever I'm in Jersey, I'll pull up on you. Literally three days passes by. He calls me. He was like, yo, you home? I was like, yeah. He was like, come outside in like five minutes. I came outside and he's right there. And ever <laughs> since then, that's been my bro ever since. It's For like real? Yeah. That's crazy. He just pulled up on you and was like, All right, I'll be there in five minutes. Literally, bro. Literally. He's always been like that. Literally, bro. He, he sticks to everything that he says. He's always been. As far as like overall, like as a person, it's never been. Benny has never 
said that he was going to do something and didn't do it. Ever since from day one, he's always stuck to his gun. So it's just like outside of music, his character as 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 a friend and a and just a person in general, he's authentic. Right. Authentic. I can't confirm Benny does stick to his word because Benny because <laughs> two years ago when I brought high, Benny said Benny's like he's like when this album done, I'm coming. And oh, then bullshit. when when uh-huh. the new Def Jam album was uh, ready to yeah, go, everybody he came, through. Go, came through, smoked it. Too. Came through, came smoked, through smoked that <laughs> shit, you know what I'm saying? But the, from the relationship of you guys meeting and him pulling up on you in Jersey, like, how does, you know, the process of you then officially becoming signed to BSF and becoming a BSF artist? Okay, so... Because you've been working with the guys for a minute, like, you've been working with Fuego, Hi, ab- like, so Absolutely. On. So, me and... Butch or whatever, like as a time goes on or whatever, Butch gets signed or whatever, like we're always linking. At this time, at this time, I'm um, I'm still living in Jersey, but he's living in Atlanta, so it's like I'll see him whenever he comes like to New York and all that shit or whatever. We link up whenever he's here. Vice versa. I move. I end up moving to Atlanta, like August 2022. So once I moved to Atlanta, he was on IG Live one day and I dropped on his IG Live and I was like, Yo, bro, I just moved out here. He didn't. He he DM me. And he was like, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm about to go to dinner. He was like, pop out. He just sends me to Addy. I come to dinner. It's him and it's my brother Harlem, which is now my manager. But this is the first time I'm meeting Harlem at the time. Right. Whatever. So I've been New Benny. So we were just shopping it up. He asked me what I was doing with the music. At this point, I'm like, I'm, I'm, I don't have no team. I don't really have no really like structure. I'm still recording music, but I don't really have no structure like that. So he ended up um, linking me up with Harlem. Harlem DMs me literally probably the following day after the dinner or whatever. He right. DMs me and asks me, uh, he was like, you got a manager? I'm like, nah. He was like, do you have a team or anything going on? I'm like, nah. And ever since then, once Benny linked me up with Harlem, it's been on go. And I started chilling with Benny and Harlem literally every day because at this point now we, we live in the same city. So it's, it's easy to like, you know, like studio sessions while he's cooking up the album. Yeah. I'm just sitting there, just observing, just like taking notes and everything. And then once I got with Harlem, he started like sending me beats. I, I, we 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 start linking up like every week. We start knocking out songs and all that or whatever. And before you know it, we just got an album done quick. Mm. And that's his album that we got coming out. Absolutely. So what's the name of this project? It's called Written on Wise Corner. Written on Wise Corner. Yeah. Wise Written. Corner, I'm assuming it's somewhere in... In Englewood. In Englewood, Jersey. Okay. Absolutely. So f- with you kind of putting this project together, like what's the intent behind this project that you put into it? Like what is... What do you? What did you put into it that you want people to take away? What should people take away? Like, what? Like, talk to me about the tape itself. Written on Wise Corner, I feel like okay. As far as like now, like we have a lot of phenomenal like Jersey artists. More so, like of course we got the we got the LBLs, we got the Sue Serves, and then we also have like the young Jersey Drill movement. We yeah. have some phenomenal Jersey Drill movements. But um, as far as like the hip hop scene, like the actual hip hop scene in Jersey, I feel like it's not. A lot of us, so I feel like written on Wise Corner is gonna be like the the pure example of okay, this is what hip hop in Jersey sounds like or whatever. Like I want people to listen to it and be like, okay, this is like when you think of hip hop that's coming out of New Jersey, they're gonna listen to this album like, okay, that's what they sound like. Right. Yeah. So it's like one of those situations. That's fine. Like, so this is like to read the like trying to get back to like the real core essence of like absolutely rap in Jersey. Absolutely. So like who do you, um who else is on the project with you? Who else you got on it? Um, I got uh Butch of course. Shout okay. out to my brother Benny. I got Benny the Butcher on there. I got Inspector Deck of the of the Wu Tang Clan Fire. on there. Shout out to Inspector Deck. I got Sayari the Kid. I got okay. my brother Fuego Bass on yep. there. I got the hoodie. Shout out to the hoodies out over Rochester. Yep, 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 so yep. I got some I got some good features on there. How you get Inspector Deck on the project? Man, man, Harlem and Butch, man, Harlem. That's one thing about Harlem and Butch. They're gonna they're gonna put together some plays, man. I cooked up. It's crazy because the the song that I got with Inspector Deck on there, mm. um, I named it something totally different, but it was like a scheme that I used, or whatever. Um, it was like a couple of punchlines that I was using, but I named all of the Wu Tang Clan members in there. And once I played it for Benny and Harlem, they was like, "Yo, it'd be crazy if we get somebody off the Wu Tang Clan on there, like to kind of like." Like go for the scheme, yeah. yeah. And they called me literally probably like a week later, and he was like, "Yo, we got to spec the deck on the record." I say, "Yo, that shit is crazy." And then after that, you know, I got my boy Fuego Bass here. Fuego Bass is on it as well too. He's BSF as well too. Yep, and then yep, we yep. just renamed it Wu Sopranos, and then man, that that's it. That's the first single coming off the album. Wu Sopranos man. Wu is Soprano, tough, man. Wu Sopranos, man. Wu well, Sopranos. well, by the time people see this, Wu Sopranos probably out now or on the way. So go check that out. Definitely. Um, this is the first project in four years for you too. So. Are you ready? I'm very ready. I'm very ready. I'm anxious, man. I'm excited. It's going to be good, bro. Oh, no, nah, it's, it's going to be good. Don't absolutely. worry about it, man. Well, look, I appreciate you being here. Um, by the time people see this, freestyle now. Go run that up. Project on the way. Um, 
Before we get to rapping today, anything else that people got to know about, uh, where they can follow you at, all that good stuff, down the sound, let them know. This camera right here. All right. Um, you already know. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, all the same at name, Sule BSF, S-U-L-E at BSF. Oh, let's get it, man. I appreciate you. Why, written on Wise Corner coming out May 5th, man. Big Sopranos, man. You already know what's going on, man. <laughs> there you go. March 5th. March 5th. March 5th. March 5th. Yeah, March 5th. I, that, that's what I fuck with. My, I said, wait, March May, March 5th. March, March, March 5th. 5th. <laughs> well, look, it's either out now or on the way, so make sure you go check it out. Um, go follow him. Go show him some love. Go show him some support. Love is free. Support is free. But Tyra knew that. Till next time, Sule on the radar. We out. Bow. My God. Bow.